early structure, campus, which improved tremendously the remuneration of police officers and men. This regular act of magnanimity was responsible for many exploits achieved by officers and men in the police force at the early part of my administration. The ongoing police action scheme, which seeks to enumerate the perennial accommodation problem of members of the force, is equally a special intervention package, courtesy of Mr. President. To this end, I wish to express governors for their wonderful support through donation of vehicles and equipment to police commands across the country and donated land in education with our housing scheme. The donation of vehicles and equipment by state governors has immensely boosted our patrol capabilities and is aiding our crime prevention and control initiatives. I must, however, seek further support for the force for the purchase of bulletproof armored personnel cadres, which have become necessary in the face of sophistication of arms and ammunition employed by hoodlums in the operations. In his response to the outgoing Inspector General of Police speech, Mr. Onobu, being the most senior Deputy Inspector General of Police, was emotionally overwhelmed, commended the former Inspector General of Police, whom he described as a friend and a visionary leader who was leaving the force at the time he was most needed. But little did he know that destiny was becoming on him to take over as the new Inspector General of Police. The Inspector General of Police, Mr. Obuna Okechuku Onovo, who was visibly highly elated for his new designation while performing his first official duty as Inspector General of Police in an open arena, has this to say. Today is a great day in my life. I want to assure you that the confidence you place on me that you will not be disappointed. Mr. Onobu, a graduate of political science from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, who hails from Unkanu local government area of Enugu State, was born on the 7th of February, 1953. He began his career in the Nigerian police force on the 1st of August, 1977, as Cadet Assistant Superintendent of Police and rose through the ranks to his recent appointment as the 14th Indigenous Inspector General of Police, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Crime Fighters Promoting Security Consciousness The bane of the Nigerian police force has been the issue of discipline among officers and men of the force which successive police administration have tried to tackle over the years with little or no success. This indiscipline have earned the Nigerian police force the negative image is contending with today. With the coming on board of the 14th Indigenous Inspector General of Police, a man known as no-nonsense police officer with a proven track record of unquestionable discipline, highly respected by men and officers of the force for its uncompromising stand on ISIS bordering on discipline. Can Onovo's administration deal with this hydro-headed issue of indiscipline in the force? Mr. Onovo did not leave anyone in doubt as he made it clear that his administration will not condole indiscipline in whatever form. He made this known while addressing officers and men at the force headquarters, Abuja. Of course, we will zero down also on uh, issues of corruption and indiscipline. And that is where I said it is the individual that matters. The man who is in the uniform, that is the one that matters. We have to give him a proper reorientation. Let him uh, take uh, let him take pride in his in his person. Let him have confidence. Is, you can't be a policeman and you are timid. The Inspector General of Police also expressed his concern about the men in the police uniform and stressed the need for proper orientation that will make the police officer take pride in his profession. In essence, what we are seeing is that 
we are very concerned about that individual in the uniform, about his commitment, about his you know, dedication to duty. Mr. Ogbona Okechuku Onovo urge officers in the force to brace up to the challenge of enforcing discipline as a promise to personally implement it to the later. The Inspector General of Police, who expressed his gratitude to his officers, urged him to continue with the commitment and loyalty to his administration. I therefore solicit for the support of all agencies of government, sister security agencies, labor unions, the bar association, the organized private sector, uh, non-governmental organizations, the mass media, and members of the public as we pursue our goals visions and aspirations. I ask for unity of peoples among key functionaries of the force, administratively and operationally, so that together we shall lift the force to enviable heights. As policing any environment is an uphill task and can only be successfully executed when everyone plays his role and actively participates in the crusade against crime. The Inspector General of Police, who expressed his gratitude to his officers, urged him to continue with the commitment and loyalty to his administration. Let me say that this administration is ours. As we work together for the success of the last one, I urge you to remain committed to the visions that we share and, the, and be a spirited part of the present administration as we make history hand in hand. To all senior officers and men of the force, I say let's do it again. We have a duty to and we shall do so in all dignity and with the full measure of professionalism and responsibility. I look forward to glorious days ahead as we undertake and overcome the present challenges as well as those of the future. Let the world know today and let all Nigerians bear witness that we are resolved to attain greater heights. Long live the Nigerian Police Force, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Barely two days into his administration, and as if to test the capability of Mr. Onovo's administration, an Islamic fundamentalist sect known as Boko Haram movement opposed to Western education and culture, which was led by Mohammed Yusuf, attacked police formations and government institutions in Bauchi State and spread to other parts of the North, such as Borno, Yobe, Kanu, and Kesina States. Overpowered the Taliban group that attempted to overrun a police station. In the operation, the police recovered two locally made pistols, a 100 AK 47 live ammunition, locally made pistols, the bows and arrows, and bags containing substances suspected to be uh, gunpowder and other explosives. Crime fighters promoting security consciousness. The new police administration led by Mr. Ogbona Okejiku Onovo has begun. Let's listen to Nigerians as they express their expectations from this administration. Uh, Ogbona Onovo is, uh, I think, uh, he's a trained police officer, a professional by profession. And uh, he has been there for a very long time, all the way from the days of Tafa Balogu. So we expect him to curtail the security situation in the country. The militancy and the, the fatwa crisis that is taking place in the north. So we are looking forward to an improved security situation with his present. Looking out for a better improvement on the security situation in this nation. We know that it has been very horrible. And unfortunately, the previous IGs, the three consecutive previous IGs we have had, each one came and went. From the background he's coming from, having been... Um, uh, one of the student union executives when he was a student of the University of Nigeria in Soka, where he was even the uh, president of the, I think, okay, the, the captain of the football team. And his uh, previous antecedents, from interaction that I've had from people, I think he's an astute officer. He's somebody who, whose integrity is not questionable. But we are yet to, we are looking up for him to be able to defend what people are saying about him, you understand? So, so that he doesn't fall into the same thing the other previous IDs fell into. And we wish him the best. The news of the General of Police, when Nigerians, we believe in changes. 
and we are praying to God for positive change. And whatever administration exchange hands like this, that is when there is transition like this, we will we'll always expect that person to give us his best. Um, coming to the man's speech, I will say he has something to offer. In as much as this man is a new person, and uh, he, has, he, has, he has spoken to Nigerians, and we heard him, and uh, we pray to God that what we are looking at, what we've been praying for, will be given to us. The police is the, 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 like the watchdog of the society, and we are expecting a lot from them. Especially, uh, we need, uh, they have to live, live by example. You understand? Not uh, necessarily TV show uh, showing us uh, how many hundreds of armed robbers captured. Uh, we need them to, to sanitize their house before going out. I think uh, he has a lot to do, especially the police forces uh, before the criminal. Thank you. We are expecting a, a great deal from the new IG because uh, we would like him to make uh, the police force a more professional, professional uh, 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 congregation. That's where, where they will put in their best, where they will leave their self-esteem, that I'm a uniform man, I can do and undo, I can intimidate, I can harass, I can brutalize. Let them put in more professionalism. Let them go for more training. Let them retrain them. Let them go for uh, courses that will enhance their uh, performance. The Searchlight on Crime and Criminality.